Hey boys and girls, this is Larry, UBRailroad.com. Check me out. Today's March 27th, and I am going to show you how to make a very simplified jig for your trestle. Now you see what I got here? I got just a bunch of scrap pieces. And I'm going to hot glue them right down to my uh, workbench because they'll just pop right off when you're done. But the main thing, the first thing you want to do is you want to get a square line. You see the red line? This is perfectly square. That's always your center bent. Now, I don't know how wide you're going to make yours. They use ratios when they built them. Uh, two to one, two and a half, three, three and a half, four to one, so on. So the only thing I could tell you is when you decide how far it is from this one to this one, then that's your starting point. Like right here on mine, dead center to dead center is dead center to dead center is three and three quarter inches so the first thing I'll do is I will glue some pieces right here like this and then this will hold this in center for me and then I will come over and I glue these and then I'll continue the rest okay uh, let me get back to you after I uh, get her done here okay I'm back Okay, you can see that I got these little pieces of wood stuck in place here. Uh, I put them in after I put my bent in, got the angle I wanted, and then glued right next to them. Now, here's the deal, guys. On these little spacers here or whatever, make sure that they're no higher than this because you're going to want to put your cross braces in and everything else and you don't want these to be standing higher than this or it's going to offset everything. So make them the same size or smaller and don't get carried away with the glue you know just a little dab will do you because like I said you're gonna pop these right off okay now uh, ho ho hold on just a second okay uh, I can't find my tripod uh, so I had to set the camera down okay now I have the bent in the jig and as you can clearly see it's going to conform perfect so when I put my cross brace across here all of this is in alignment with the other ones I did so everything on that bridge will have these kind of angles okay now this is only good for the one bridge because maybe my other bridge might be bigger might be smaller down here I don't know because I'm not using the standard ratios of two to one three to one I'm trying to but if it doesn't work out with my scenery then you know I'm gonna obviously modify it to fit my own needs but you could clearly see how, how easy this thing works now watch this okay when I pull this out you see the, the ends are, are wild and they're loose and they they fall all over the place but the second you put it back in to the jig when you put everything back into the jig everything lines up again so, simple way to make it, uh, you can use a sheet of cardboard, piece of wood, whatever. Uh, it's not complicated, okay? It's not rocket science. It's not a super duper, uh, you know, master craftsman technique or nothing like that. Just go ahead and do it and start building away. Uh, this Larry, over and out.